Main event. I got to jump in. Mm. So, of course, I heard about this long before it happened because West Coast or whatever. And uh, people were very upset about uh, Suzuki's entrance being cut. And I don't know how to say this, but if you're upset, that's cool and all. But who gives a fuck? I wanted to see him wrestle longer. <laughs> if you like the goddamn song, listen, I don't think they should have cut off the song either. But if you really like the damn song, go get it on iTunes. I want to see these two fuckers beat the shit out of each other for a long fucking time. So when they cut his music, I was like, ah, fine, just get these fuckers in the ring. It's like 10 till right now. So they cut his music, and then Moxley comes out, and they get in the ring, and they ring the bell, and they go a minute, and they go to commercial. Correct. I went, what the fuck? And then they came back for four minutes, and then boom, they they do the, the finish like out of nowhere. Uh, they're just brawling. All of a sudden, Moxley just hits a death rider and pins him. Then Moxie starts celebrating. Look at my watch. There's three minutes left. And he celebrates, and he celebrates, and he celebrates, and he celebrates, and he celebrates. And I'm like, why didn't you wrestle longer? So what I have been told is that in WWE, if you and I are going to have a match, Vinny, they will say, for example, uh, you know, your segment is 12 minutes, all right? Uh -huh. That means your entrances, the wrestling match, the post-match, the whole shebang. It's 12 minutes. That's how much time we've got for the whole segment. So in AW, apparently Tony does it. He splits it up. So it'll be like your entrance has got... There's three minutes for entrances, seven minutes for the wrestling, and then three minutes for the post-match. He actually breaks it into three different things. All right. So there were two timing issues on the show. One of them, obviously, was that all of these segments went so long that they rushed through the liners for next week, and they're trying to get these guys out for a match, and it appeared to be a few minutes late. So then, apparently during the match, when they got the call to go home, they thought that however many minutes they had left was how many minutes until th the show went off the air. I see. But it was actually the time until the end of the match... So then they rush to finish the match, and then there's three minutes left for the post-match. So anyway, I don't know this for sure, okay? But I would presume that Moxley had to be very upset about this. Because, as I've been talking about for months now, the all-out match was never going to be Tanahashi, okay? It's always going to be... Um, Kojima. Kojima. Yeah. So it's going to be Kojima, and then they were always going to do a a bigger match in his hometown. And I, it may have always been Suzuki. I don't know who it was always going to be, but there was always going to be Kojima at All Out and then a big match in his hometown. Because he wanted to have a big match in his hometown. It's Cincinnati. So the reason, I mean, if, if I were Moxley... And I'm all excited to wrestle against Minoru Suzuki and Bothell. And I end up having four minutes of television time. I'd be fuming. And I, 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 I don't know if he was upset or if just they realized it was a disaster. But like they quickly on social media announced that Suzuki is going to be back on Wednesday. Talking about the disrespect of them cutting off his music. Aha. So they are going to do a make good. So someone... It could have been Tony, it could have been Moxley, it could have been the viewing audience. I mean, somebody made it clear that this was just unacceptable. I mean, John Moxley and and uh, Suzuki for four minutes on television. So they're going to do some sort of make good. It might be a tag match with Lance Archer. Maybe they'll do a singles match at Arthur Ashe. I don't know. But it is it is abundantly clear that it is not over. And, and we are going to get to see more. Thank God. Because... I, I wasn't close, but if I'd been, like, single, I didn't have a family, I may have tried to get a ticket to go to Cincinnati to watch John Moxley versus Minoru Suzuki. Uh -huh. So I need more than what I got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, you ever seen the match they had in New Japan? Uh, it was fucking I awesome. Yeah. It was fucking awesome. So I was very disappointed, but I am happy that they appear to be doing a make good. 
Well, that certainly covers that. I, I can say that as disappointingly short as brief as this was, it was a lot of fun to see Minoru Suzuki being Minoru Suzuki on a U.S. show with a U.S. audience. He did not do an Americanized version of himself. He did the same thing he always does. It just a different audience, different reactions. That made it fun. But yes, this this could have gone twice as long as it did, and probably still would have been. Bro, this should have got an hour. Yes, this should have got a full hour. Yep. Yeah. Now I know why that fire alarm went off in the afternoon. Someone wrote Moxley versus Suzuki four minutes, and that fucking place started going up in flames. Anyway, I'm sure they were supposed to get more than four minutes. But, god damn it, I just want to see this fucking match in its glory. Do you understand? They had they had like a, a one-minute brawl it all out, and it was like one of the best things on the show. Yes. <laughs> right? And the four minutes it they had on television the match Moxley had right before. was yes. fucking awesome. Yes, for more than four minutes we got were great. We have one more. Oh, we do? Yeah. This is from uh, TL. There's nothing scary about you, chap, no matter how dangerous of a technician. You look more like a male anesthetician, cocking your chest out with that definition. No, I don't mean Zack Sabre, supporter of labor. He's one of the best. I'm talking about that man with no heart, Brian Alvarez, the real chicken chest. I'm disgusted. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.